Yes. <laughs> A TNA production. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you some breaking news. Hi, I'm Skip Freely, Channel 6. Reports have been coming in from all over the area of a new exhibit about mummies in ancient Egypt exciting folks in the streets. We advise citizens to go visit and approach the awesome installation. It's likely that it has a lot of educational value or some other crazy beneficial qualities and is considered very, very expensive, as the recreation tomb is filled with tons of actual Egyptian treasure. Again, please go visit and do approach the exhibit. Children and other small animals such as pets should also be brought to see it. Thank you. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Skip Freely, signing out. Man, see? Turn that down, boys. You hear what he said? Real Egyptian treasure. We just found our next heist. Yeah. Mega Tales presents The Tale of the Curse of the Mommy of Emerson. Did you hear that, Lola, my number one dame, and Bobo, my hired muscle? This could be the score of a lifetime. We knock over that museum, we can retire forever. The other night, I was washing my hair, I came downstairs and ran into a couple of drugstore cowgirls. They told me earlier that night they were looking for some fun, or by the time they hit the main drag, a couple of gin joints. They overheard two security guards saying security by the mummy isn't that good. I'm thinking we can sneak in there tonight, see? Go up in that mummy's sarcophagus, see? And steal us all his treasures, see? Well, if that money we steal can guarantee me that spot at the club you've been promising me all these years, then you bet I'm in. Sugar? I'm getting real sick of all this prohibition. It's really killing my money income. Especially because I can't make no good bathtub gin to compete with all this other hooch that's flooded the market. If we can get this money you says we can, boss, I'm in. All right, gang, we're here outside the museum. Lola, you head around and take care of them guys. See? Boba, let's head up to the roof. So I told the guy, breakfast? Breakfast? I don't come here for breakfast. I come here for lunch. Zingo! Hans? Hans? You ain't Hans. Hey, oh. Uh, hey, hey, miss. You can't be here. The museum's closed. Jeepers creepers, get a load of her. Pardon me, gentlemen. I seem to be lost in this here museum. And very, very naked. Well, hubba, hubba, hubba. What can I say? Yeah, I'll show you around. <laughs> Hey, what do you think you're doing here, lady? No, 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 no. All right, perfect, see? She took care of them guards. Bobo, lower me down here so I can get my hands on that sarcophagus skull. Okay, Ma. All right, these bags are full. Pull me up, Bobo, pull me up. Let's get out of here, gang. All right, yeah, let's climb down this back ladder. Hey, Lola, bring the car around! So, boys, how do we do tonight? Look at this, look at this, how do we do, see? We got sacks of gold and rubies and diamonds and gems. This is, this is more money than we can ever wish for. We're loaded. <laughs> We're rich. <laughs> We're fucking rich. <laughs> I can buy you. I can buy this whole stinking town. We're rich. <laughs> I'm gonna swim in this stuff. I'm gonna get naked and swim in this gold and these jewels and these rubies. Oh, hey, Jojo, my head hurts. Oh, oh, what happened? Holy shit, Jojo, look, somebody stole all the gold out of the museum exhibit. The Egyptian one, right over there. Oh, we're in big trouble. Oh, my head's still ringing here. What? Oh my god, you're right, everything's gone, but... Wait a minute, the mummy's gone too. 
why would that naked dame come in here? That dizzy dame, she stole a dead body and all the gold. We're gonna lose our jobs. The body? Why would they take the body? Who would steal a m m m mummy? Oh God, he's ripping me up. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, my friend, you, oh God, oh God. Oh, you smell like you've been dead for a thousand years. Where is my treasure? In the name of Amun Ra, and Amun Hotep the second, I have risen from my grave in Emerson, New Jersey, to come and find my treasure that has been taken from me. I will kill all until it is returned. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you some breaking news. Hi. I'm Skip Freely, Channel 6. Reports have been coming in from all over the area of a mummy or undead pharaoh stalking the streets. We advise citizens to stay indoors and not to approach the pissed off Egyptian ruler. It's likely that it's pissed off about something or has some other crazy disease and is considered very, very dangerous. He may be responsible for the murder of two security guards at the Andrew S. Breilman National Museum. Again, please stay indoors and do not approach the mummy. Children and other small animals, such as pets, should also be brought indoors. Thank you. And I return you to your regularly scheduled program. Skip Freely, signing out. Hey, listen here, gang. You know, it's, it's been three, four days since we knocked over that museum. We got two dead guards, Lola. I didn't tell you to kill those guards. See, I told you to go in and distract them, knock them out. Look, you're bringing the heat on us, okay? The fuzz is coming down on us, and now we got reports of this other crazy guy running around. People think that we stole this mummy's body. We can't even spend any of this gold, right? We can't sell on the black market right now because of you. Well, what were you thinking? You listen here, big boy. I didn't kill those guards. I just knocked them out. That mummy, we didn't take him. He should still be there. Maybe those idiots at the museum lost him. You promised me a spot at the club, and you bet I'm gonna get it, big boy. Gee, I don't know, boss. A couple of guys that I did business with yesterday ended up dead today. And the only survivor said that he saw the mummy walking around and stuff. Said he killed the other guys. I I don't know, maybe we messed something up. Maybe we shouldn't have taken that gold. I'm, I'm getting scared, boss. Shut up, you ninny. See, you don't tell nobody about nothing, and you're definitely not returning this here treasure. See? We're gonna hang on to it. Let this heat die down. Let this... Mummy mumbo jumbo settle down and then we're gonna go back to what we always do. Spending money, hanging out at the club, and talking like gangsters. Now I'm gonna go polish my Tommy gun, and I ain't talking about my dick. You know, Artie, with all this mummy talk going on, I really appreciate you giving me the headline spot tonight. I really please your crowd, big boy. You'd better see, I got a lot of big names in that room tonight. And when those house lights go on, you better bring the house down. Otherwise, I'm going to grab the old hook and rip you right off stage, see? It's now or never. You better put up a shut up, Lola. So go out there and show those pipes off to that crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, the Missy Kissy Club would like to thank you for coming out tonight. Now for our headliner, please welcome to the stage, the sultry singer, Miss Lola. Well, thank you, Johnny. This one's for all you boys out in the crowd. I want to introduce my backup singers, the Five Wonders. Hit it, ladies. One, two, three, four. That's right, boys. They call you Mr. Berserk, cause you're in love. That's right, big boy. Mr. Berserk. Hey, what are you doing on the stage here? What's, what's the meaning of this? Get off the stage, big boy. What? What? Uh, this isn't part of the act. Suffer until my treasure is returned to me. Holy balls, it's the mummy, it's true, I don't believe this. Bobo, come with me, we gotta get in this back room to the safe and guard that treasure with our lives. This mummy's not getting it. 
That thing's gonna make us rich. We gotta get out of town. Come on. Okay, boss. Yeah, boss, this is this is crazy. This, this, this mummy ain't gonna stop. I mean, he's already dead. We can't kill him. We just gotta get back to treasure. I, I, I'm saying get all the gold here. We'll leave it right here. We'll sneak out the back door. Okay? We'll just leave. He won't know who took it. He'll get it back. He'll leave us alone. I'm gonna go take a quick dump. You get the treasure out, boss. I'm telling you, it's the only way we're gonna live through this. Ah, oh, this is crazy. Ah, uh, see, I, I, I mean, we risked that next trying to get this treasure. I can't believe I'm gonna just give it all back. Well, not all of it, but let me stack up all this gold and everything here. If the mummy wants it, he can have it. I guess it's no good to me if I'm dead. Oh, man, this is unbelievable. A mummy! A freaking mummy! Hurry up in there, Bobo! Ugh. Lights on in here. We got, a, we got toilet paper. Oh, here's some. Let me just. Put the, oh, oh my God, the mummy! No, no, get, no, get off me! No, not the toilet. Not the... Embrace your watery grave as you embrace my treasure. No mummification for you. You will be flushed like the stealing turd you are. I will not rest, and I will not stop saying that I will not rest until I can rest. Come on, Bobo, you big dumb dumb, hurry up in there, see? We gotta get out of here before that. Oh my god, it's the mummy, you, you, you're here. For thousands of years have I rested, now disturbed by you treasure hunters. All will suffer, all will suffer, never shall I sleep again until my treasure is returned. Listen, you know, I, I know you want your treasure, you want your gold. I don't have any gold here, but I do have some lead for you. <laughs> Eat this. Ah, oh, steaming crap muffins, this mummy won't go down. Your lead projectiles are no substitute for my treasure. I do not accept. I want my treasure, and I will not rest until I get it all back. Oh, this cat's indestructible. Okay, listen, mommy. Here, see, see, there's, there's a pile right over there underneath this cover. Let me move it. That's all your treasure, all right? You take it all back. It was just one big misunderstanding. You know, that guy Bobo took it. I, I never took it. See, he, he made me help him. So it's all yours. Just take it and go, okay? Go back to sleep or rest or whatever you want. You're going to get no trouble from me. Just, just take it and go, please, please. I accept, but just know, in your afterlife, you shall spend it as a slave to many great pharaohs who have come before you. I now leave you. <laughs> Good riddance. Wait, wait. Wait a second. The ruby of Tutankhamun is not here. It is missing. You have lied and betrayed me. Wait, what? And now I will not rest until you're dead. And then I will not rest for an even longer period until the ruby of Tutankhamun is recovered. You will pay. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, the, the ruby of Hudawa? The Tutuhua? Okay, okay, wait, back off me, back off me. Ah, ah, wait, ah, there's one more. Ah, ah, I hit it, I hit it in the walls of my house. Please, I'll take you there. I can't, I, I can't take you there if you kill me. No, no, see, see. It seems greed has gotten our characters into a lot of trouble in this tale. Because he hid the last ruby in his safe house, the mummy still wanders the earth, looking and killing. Could that safe house where the ruby's hidden be your very house? It wouldn't be too safe then. Maybe the mummy's coming up behind you right now. Or now! Maybe now? Turn around, he might be there! Yet? Maybe now? Just give it a few minutes, and he could be there coming to kill you! Like now! 
for now. Lie in the way. If you have the ruby in your house, the mummy will kill you. Dead. <laughs> no. Damn it. Thanks for listening to Megatech.